double acting cylinder control in double acting cylinder control we need uh, three uh, position uh, directional control valve um, if you remember the earlier uh, video the directional control valve mm, this one has this is the left envelope and this is the middle envelope and this is the right envelope so it has three positions so we can it can be set like as it is you can see on the left picture here um, now is the uh, spring loaded actually this one is a uh, spring loaded centered position so if you don't do anything it's gonna centered like this and then it will the um, the uh, center will be um, the center envelope will be uh, connected so this is the center envelope now so if we don't do anything the both side has a spring loaded so valve will be centered all the time now in this situation there will be no movement of this um, cylinder extension or um, or retraction because there is no flow going to the cylinder so everything will be kind of going this way and then if the pump is running then it's gonna go to the reservoir and this will be kind of lined up this spring loaded um, uh, pressure relief valve and then all the flow will go to the reservoir now if you want to extend the cylinder what we have to do we have to connect this port so if we can line this with the pump like we did in the in this picture basically what you can imagine is you can just slide this forward directional to this imagine that you just slide one so you just activate using this um, control and then slide it to the left uh, port left envelope uh, just engage the left envelope this is the left envelope and then then you will see the pump line is connected to this line and then the flow will go to the cylinder to the blanket and then the cylinder will start to this rod will start to extend extend so to extend and then uh, the flow all the fluid this side the rod inside will kind of come back through this this way and it's gonna go to the reservoir like that if we want to reverse that so then we can connect this envelope so then palm port will be connected here and then this uh, will be kind of like and then this pump will go to the rod end so we could just change uh, activate this right envelope and then uh, make the cylinder retracted so using this uh, this forward directional uh, this um, directional valve has three uh, position left center and the middle so we can say and then it has four ways so you can see port palm port and then here you can see this is the palm port and then this is the tank or reservoir this port is typically called port a and this one is called b you can switch between a and b but the without the pump and tank the other two are called a and b so there are four ports so we can say four position um four uh, when you have um, four ports that is called four way the fluid can enter or out in total four ways so we can say uh, this directional control valve is a four way we have three envelopes so that's called three position directional control valve so using that we can control a, a double acting cylinder the cylinder is called double acting when it's uh, extend and it can retract um, and then it's called double acting 